Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hoppets. Today, joined by the Olive Yeast, aka Dad, and uh, Plinner. Yeah, the Plinner. <laughs> the Plinner. The Plinner. The one and only Plinner. Or as one person thought you were called, Leaner. <laughs> oh, Leaner, yeah. <laughs> a little while back. Uh, but we're reviewing a beer that I brought back from Madeira uh, that I thought we should check out with Dad because we yeah. went there together. And we got this one from Joao, one of our uh, friends of the channel, you can say that. Uh, Clint has met him as well, very cool dude. Uh, we met him at a, a NBCC, and I met him in Port or on Madeira. So, uh, Joao is the most pleasant guy you could ever meet. <laughs> He's, He's a terrific. Cool dude. So uh, he was kind enough to give some beer, but also Madeira wine for me to bring home. And I actually think this was the only bottle he had of this, and he didn't even try it himself. So... <laughs> So we have to do a proper review. Yes. <laughs> so this is a collaboration between a Danish brewery and a Portuguese brewery. So I guess that's also why he kind of thought I should have it. And because it's a reference to Danish dessert. So this is the Toul and Mean Sardine Bloma i Madeira. Oh, Madeira. Bloma i Madeira. So plums in Madeira. And it's a Danish uh, candy dessert. dessert, which is this marzipan filled uh, chocolate. Well, no. Oh. Well, there's a marzipan inside as no, well. No, it's isn't just... It? It's just Plums in Madeira. Plums in Madeira, wine and chocolate. Okay. Just uh, marinate the uh, plums in Madeira for, uh, for a while and uh, then you just kind of eat it like that. Uh, well, we know because uh, okay. my cousin Trine, her boyfriend, had birthday when we were on Madeira. Yeah. And for fun, we all got him gifts. And all of the gifts were Madeira. Uh, uh, plums, plums in Madeira. In Madeira. <laughs> plums in Madeira. <laughs> so we opened the whole thing. No, ha, ha, ha. Plums in Madeira. Next box. Ha 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 ha, and then everything was just plums in Madeira. Yeah. I think it got like eight boxes or something like that. Uh, it was quite funny. But uh, yeah, so we brought this one back to try. Uh, and we really like the Madeira wine, uh, Dad and I. Mm -hmm. So uh, this will be fun to try. This is 2015 vintage. It's also a vintage beer. And uh, yeah, this is called Bloma y Madeira, Madeira, and it's an imperial stout with plums aged in Madeira wine barrels on 12% uh, between. Min Sardin in Portugal and Tuil in Copenhagen. I don't think Min Sardin is actually from Madeira, or they're not. They're from Portugal. I think maybe Lisbon. But it says that the Tuil went to Portugal in the spring of 2015 to brew this pleasing stout with our friends at Min Sardin, aged in Madeira barrels, together with a fresh harvest of plums from Portugal. This is the perfect beery version of the Danish chocolate dessert, plums in Madeira. And then, yeah, malted barley, water, yeast, and plums. So, we want to try 12%. So, Let's yeah. first smell stout of the night. Uh, well, first check out the color. Pitch black. Gun, oh, I've <laughs> beige, it. maybe even almost slightly brown head. It's black. Yeah. It's black. Beige head. Yeah. But there is not. Com well, yeah, it's black in the glass. But uh, yeah. Okay, let's check out the aroma now. Yeah, Madeira wine. Mm. Lots of Madeira wine yeah. character. It it smells like you did Bloma y Madeira with stout. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Very dark fruity, actually. Yeah, One of the good. more dark fruity stouts I've had in a while. Some roasted maltiness to it as well. I get the roasted malt, and I get some plums, and... Uh, almost a smokiness. Yeah. And licorice. I think the plums almost smell like prunes. Yeah. Uh, like really dry. Almost like Swiska. Almost like Swiska. <laughs> And then that's this Madeira sweet, Madeira wine character. Madeira wine is similar to port wine. Mm -hmm. um, what, the one I have at home right now is very similar. I have right at home. It's got, got like, a, like a maple syrup-esque flavor to it. But, but it smells quite nice. It's very vinous. I, I think you're right. Uh, well, it's it, it's Pleine. like... Pleine. 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 Sorry. <laughs> uh, but but it, it is like these dried plums. Yeah. yeah. The smell. Let's try it, see how it is. Yes, yes, yes. Cheers. 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 And thanks a ton to Joao for the beer. Thank you, Joao. See you in May. Not what I expected. No, me neither. Oh. I expected it to be a whole lot thicker and richer. I, I, I thought it was going to be very sweet and... and, and uh, yeah. Uh, Not sweet yeah. at all. No. no. <laughs> it's actually quite light and really, really roasty. And then roasty, roasty and dry. Yeah, and then very dry. Mm -hmm. The aftertaste is very dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This does not taste like uh, plums and Madeira. Ah. No, it smells more like it. Oh. 
There's some plummy flavor, and there's definitely that sweet Madeira wine flavor. But it's the base beer is quite interesting. It's like super dry, roasty imperial style. Yeah. I, wonder, I don't think they added sugar or anything. It doesn't say at least. Um, long and dry aftertaste. Very licorice -y, almost smoky, almost burnt, like a burnt malt flavor. Maybe a, a little of uh, dried plums. Mm -hmm. But I think it's nice, yeah. but I'm not like right blown away, away by it. Super roasted, super dry. Uh, mm -hmm. You kind of get the drums in the uh, drums. Drums, uh, plums. Drums. Drums. Plums <laughs> in Madeira. You taste the drums. <laughs> <laughs> you taste the drums, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we're trying uh, to strong beers. <laughs> yes. And, but yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, it should have been sweeter. Yeah, I think I would have liked it more if it was sweeter too, but I still think it's nice enough. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like an 85, 86. Well, 86. It, 76. 76. You don't like it at all. No. I go 80. 80. Yeah. 85 maybe for me. It's nice, but again, it's not. It's, it's just a bit too dry. Yeah. Yes. Just and a bit too thin. It's actually not that thick. It's quite thin. For what it's trying to represent, it's not for really me, missing at all of it. Mm. Uh, so no. For <laughs> me to get this up, it has to be sweeter, and it has to be more mouthful. Yeah, yeah. more thick. Yeah. 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 But I mean, if you have a bottle in your cellar, I think crack it now because well, something in Madeira is sugary and sweet with a huge mouthfeel usually when yeah. you, when you have yeah. that dessert. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so. so that's what you should go for. I still think it's a decent beer, but the other beer he gave me, Plantagenetta, which I should have shared with you. Who did you have to share with? I think it was Brett, yeah. Mm. That was awesome. That was a barley wine <laughs> in Madeira wine barrels. But that, I think that was the best Madeira, and, or uh, sorry, Portuguese beer I've ever had. Um, but it's decent, this one. So if you guys had a chance to try the Chou'ul and Mean Sardine Blama in Madeira Imperial Stout 12% with plums aged in Madeira wine barrels, let us know what you thought of it. Still, draw thanks a ton for the beer. Hope we'll see you in May for McKellar's Beer Festival. We're actually using the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks a ton for the beer, dude. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We're gonna say cheers. And and see you and see you in, in another uh, beer review. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>